Hey guys, it's Saru, and the summer event is on! <laughs> well, maybe I got a little too crazy, but I'm going to be explaining how the summer event quests work, as well as the type of currency that you can get in-game to get cosmetic and gear, or mats. I guess, uh, that's just up to you. And lastly, I'll explain the Laurel system at the end of the video. I know a lot of players had the questions, and while I was streaming last night, players were asking me non-stop. So hopefully this will help you. So! Summer events. The first thing I'd recommend, again, you don't have to follow me. You can do whatever you want, I suppose. You'll want to start in Oscorath, which is right above Kostanica. It's right here on the map on the video. You'll see the location called Beach Party, which you can start your adventure. There will be an NPC there called Alessa, which you can speak to start the entire event. From there, you can just follow your mini-map and start making your rounds. A cool thing is the Sandcastle quest. Once you collect the construction sand, I believe it's just three, you can build up to three sandcastles by just clicking X on it if you're on the PlayStation. I believe it's A on the Xbox. I don't even know. And then you'll make those into actual sand castles. Now I would suggest collecting 50 construction sands and just building them all up and you'll get the achievement. You'll receive permanent sand castles, these small, medium, and large ones, and you'll be able to make them anywhere in the world. So that's just something for you guys to know because after this event finishes, you will not be able to do these quests. So do them now. Anyways, moving forward, you'll be asked to do the Melon Bash event, which is rather simple. But seeing as players will be there, they can completely ruin your f***ing score like they did to me. <clears throat> you'll want to go inside the area and take down only the watermelons. They'll keep spawning for a minute long, and you'll want to go ahead and take them down over and over again. The more points you'll get, the more items or gold you'll get for your points. Now the next thing, the Splash Cannon. You'll talk to the NPC, and then you'll start it. You'll see the little cannons, you'll want to go on it, and by the time it starts, you'll just want to shoot the monsters in the beach. It's possible that other players will be doing it as well, so they will take away from you getting max points versus doing it all alone, like I was. There are other quests, but I'm not gonna go ahead and give you a guide for them, because quite frankly, you can just follow your minimap from there. It's rather simple, just follow the quests. Now, the Festival of the Sun events. Located by Bastion, you'll want to come here, talk to Ren Me, and it'll start up the quest. Now, the quests are simple, like starting up the flame sacrifices, using firework, or getting ice to start up a drink and eating it. I don't really know but the quests change every day on both these events so don't get too used to the events because they can change and you want to go ahead and make the rounds with these. And that's pretty much it. As for the currency you have, with the temple medallions, you can get guile and slaughter gear. That means weapons and the accessories, such as the estate and manor born or guests, the glyphs, belts, and lastly, lots and lots and lots of cosmetic items for you to wear. Of course, you will also be able to buy the enchanting bonanza box, which a lot of players will want to go for, which is a loot box that you can get mats, alkahests, and other items. So if you're into that, that is available for you. Or if you're into noctinium infusions, that is available too. The second currency is the Claret Medallions, which will also give you the same cosmetic accessories with the Bonanza Box and all that jazz, and it's just an alternative way to get the items. And before you ask, yes, these medallions are indeed bankable, so you can go ahead and do them with your alts. As for the Laurel system, what it is is basically just a cosmetic based on feat points. So depending on how many feat points you have, you'll have different grades for those feats. You start from bronze, and it goes all the way to champion. You can improve these by getting more and more feats. As you can see, I have the silver laurel, which means it will reflect on my health bar. And when you are in parties with other players, it will show on their health bars as well instead of their normal icon. Well, that's it, guys. I hope the video helped you with this summer event, the laurel system, and whatever other questions that you may have. Make sure to subscribe and click that adorable bell to get notified when I upload a brand new video. Like and share the video around to let players know how the summer event works. And as always, till next time, friends.